the area of a rectangle is equal to the length multiplied by the width. The length in the graph is represented by the vertical distance y. So the length is given and it's square root of 25 minus x squared. The width is the horizontal distance bounded by the semicircle. Therefore, the width will be that distance x on either side of zero since the y-axis is the axis of symmetry. We have x on either side of the y-axis, so the width is 2x. So the length times the width will be square root of 25 minus x squared times 2x, which is preferably written 2x times 25 minus x squared, x squared to the one half to facilitate the differentiation. Now we're looking for the, for the max and we have a product. The derivative of the area a prime of x will be the derivative of 2x which is 2 times 25 minus x squared to the 1 half plus 2x times the derivative of 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. We'll use the chain rule is 1 half times 25 minus x squared to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half, times the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of the inside is negative 2x. It's the derivative of negative x squared. We're going to simplify a prime of x. 2x times 1 half, we can simplify it by 2. And x times negative 2x will become negative 2x squared. We will kick the negative exponent to the denominator. And we'll have negative 2x squared divided by 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. 25 minus x squared to the 1 half is the lowest common denominator. We're going to combine the two fractions and we will multiply the first one by the first fraction by 25 minus x squared to the 1 half over 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. The common denominator is 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. Now, 2 times 25 minus x squared to the 1 half times 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. We add the exponent. It'll become 2 times 25 x squared to the 1 half plus 1 half, which is 1 minus 2x squared because the second fraction has the lowest common denominator so we multiply it by 1 and it stays negative 2x squared so a prime of x when we distribute becomes 50 minus 2x squared minus 2x squared over the denominator 
25 minus x squared to the 1 half. The numerator is 50 minus 4x squared. When we combine negative 2x squared and negative 2x squared, GCF between 50 and 4 is 2. We can write a prime of x as 2 times 25 minus 2x squared divided by 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. Now let's look for critical points of for the critical points of a prime of x. Notice that the denominator is not that important. First, it's a square root, so it's non-negative. So it must be positive. And it cannot even be equal to zero because when it is, x squared is equal to 25 and x is equal to, to 5. The principal square root is equal to 5. And notice that when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 0. Therefore, we don't have a rectangle. So we will not consider that possibility. We will move on to the numerator. Assuming that the denominator is going to be positive, 25 minus 2x squared is equal to 0. When we set the numerator equal to 0, 25 is equal to 2x squared, and we divide by 2. x squared is equal to 25 over 2. We're going to take the principal square root of x, and x is equal to square root of 25 over square root of 2, which is 5 over square root of 2. When rationalized, it becomes 5 square root of 2 over 2. Now, there's no need to really test 5 square root to 2 over 2 and I will tell you why. 5 square root to 2 over 2 must be a maximum because if you look at the numerator 25 minus 2x squared it is a transformation of y equal to negative x squared, which is a frown. The parabola opens down. Therefore, the turning point is a maximum. The parabola is concave down. Therefore, the turning point is a maximum. Since 25 minus 2x squared is from the same family. So 5 square root of 2 over 2 is a max. The width is 2 times x. Therefore, the width is 2 times 5 square root of 2 over 2. The maximum width is 5 square root of 2. Now, Let's look for the length, since we've solved half of the problem. The length is y, and is the length is given. Square root of 25 minus x squared, and x is 5 over square root of 2. So it's square root of 25 minus 5 over square root of 2 squared. The length is therefore 25 minus 25 over 2, which is 5 over square root of 2 squared. 
common denominator is 2, so it's really 50 minus 25 over 2, square root of 50 minus 25 over 2, which is the square root of 25 over the square root of 2. The principal square root of 25, the positive square root, will be 5 over square root of 2. When it's rationalized, 5 square root of 2 over 2. In conclusion, in order to have a maximum area, the width needs to be, we must have a width of 5 square root of 2 and a length of 5 square root of 2 over 2.